Let me put it out there and just say it. Each customer is unique and requires a different approach. So one recipe might work for some, but you better have some extra sweetener set aside for others. Just like personality tests show us that there are a variety of people with different types of personalities. The same goes for customers. So today I'm gonna be sharing many different formulas you can use to approach your different types of customers from a sales perspective. actually tell if a support team knows their stuff by looking at how they approach different customers. If they work from a single one-time written script, then there are going to be some issues. Your support team needs to know how to change their approach for different cases. They need to be able to assess the situation, understand who they're talking to. And when they've caught on to that, then they'll be able to handle any situation even the unpleasant ones, while being in full control. So what are the different types of customers you can meet when handling sales cases and how do you approach them? Well, to make it easier, we're actually going to segment the different types of customers and put them in your sales funnel. With the top of the sales funnel bringing the awareness stage, the middle of the funnel being the evaluation stage, and the bottom of the funnel being the purchase stage. Let's take a look at the different types of customers and where they are on the sales funnel. The lookers. At the very top of the sales funnel, we have our lookers. They take their stroll around the park and do their window shopping. They're honestly just browsing around to see what products or services you offer. In order for a looker to become a buyer, you need to make sure that you handle them well. What I mean by this is that they're probably checking out your competitors and doing a little research here and there. So it's definitely time to show them what you've got. Even though they might not purchase from you like immediately, they might come back if you leave a good first impression. And a good first impression might not only lead to a future sale, but also to a loyal customer who recommends your products or services to others. So you need to catch their attention here and make sure that you convince them that you, yes, you have the most astonishing product or service that will satisfy their needs. Of course, without selling it too much. Don't do this. Well, hello there. Would you be interested in purchasing the future? With our new line of electric vehicles, you're not only being eco-friendly, but you're also being more effective. The vehicles of the future have a built-in driver. As you tend to your daily activities, we'll make sure to get you where you need to be. That was fun, but no, don't do that. Instead, create relevant content and resources that resonate with your target audience. Engage with them with proactive greetings. Be the first one to reach out to them. Even if they don't respond or are interested in starting a chat, others will appreciate the help. When it comes to lookers, you also want to make sure that you have an attractive website. In the sense that you've got a good design and UX on your landing page. You can also remove pop-ups that might be in the way and distract the looker. The goal is to bring the lookers into the next block of your funnel. By offering a simple UX, an easy to navigate website, a clear pricing structure, and multiple payment options, providing answers to common questions even on your homepage, will help you turn lookers into paying customers. Let's take a look at a company that did this extremely well, Shopify. We don't usually see a $1 deal unless we're in the $1 shop. And for a known company like Shopify to be offering visitors such a deal is incredible. With that being said, they're using the make your dreams come true approach. And who doesn't wanna hear that they can do it for a dollar? So right now the looker is probably thinking, all right, so it's probably a one month deal and then they'll bring out the high prices. However, by putting that out there, it makes you want to read more. The fine print below is not even close to perhaps what other sites are offering. Three months for $3, of course on select plans. So by now a looker knows this is a good deal. And yes, even if they don't sign up immediately, they will most likely keep the tab open. We're talking about three months for less than the price of a hot dog from a hot dog stand in New York. So let's analyze Shopify's website and see what they did extremely well when approaching the lookers. They have a hook that keeps their promises. The website is clearly structured, not leaving any room for distractions. The looker is browsing around, so you don't have time to share your brand story with them. And we can also add that they're to the point. 
Shopify displays an easy, simple, and clear approach, and that is exactly what the looker wants to see. Of course, as we discussed earlier, there are many things you can do to turn a looker into a buyer. However, you need to have an attractive website as a base before you go bringing out all the proactive greetings and the 10% off for new members. The impulse buyer. The impulse buyer is a type of customer who can make a purchase decision instantly. Being very impulsive with their purchase decisions, of course, provided that the conditions are right. You see, they don't need much convincing to make a purchase. However, they want a clear and easy process. The fewer steps involved, the higher the chance that they will buy something from you. So when it comes to impulse buyers, you want to get rid of any distractions they might face, making sure that they're not wasting a second of their impulse decision process. Here's what you can do. Clear the way to check out. Make sure nobody needs a set of instructions to make a purchase on your website. The fewer clicks and info required to make a purchase, the better. Quick and concise help. If you get a question from an impulse buyer, make sure your answer is short and clear. Also make sure you respond quickly, since you don't want that buying impulse of theirs to fade. Stay in touch. Email marketing campaigns will keep impulse buyers in the loop. Since most of them aren't really loyal customers, spamming them a little to remind them of your great products or services won't really be off-putting. Impulse buyers are one of the most valuable segments that bring in revenue. Many e-commerce stores and dropshipping businesses depend on them. Usually to close the deal with impulse buyers, you can make product suggestions. Products with the lowest prices upsell extremely well, but make sure that it matches the customer's interests. AliExpress is really good at it. Let's take a look at how they do it. Kaya, the impulse buyer, is adding products to her cart. She glances through her cart before clicking checkout, and before she knows it, she sees a more to love section at the bottom of her cart. And being the impulse buyer she is, she can't stop herself from adding a few more relevant products from the more to love section. Many e-commerce businesses provide a recommendation feature, and they all seem to push it more to the customer right before they click checkout. For an impulse buyer, they don't need as much convincing to check out your super deals. And that's exactly what AliExpress placed on their homepage. For an impulse buyer like Kaya, super deals are there to urge you to buy more and save more at the same time. Products that are cheaper and won't hurt the wallet satisfy the let's just get it and see urge for an impulse buyer. AliExpress does this very well. They use various visuals to attract the customer to the super deals section on their homepage. It's hard to miss, especially since they make sure you know how much you save on an item. The discount seekers. Let's be honest, we're all discount seekers at some point in our shopping experience, and that gives us a basic understanding of who discount seekers are. However, they do take it to an extreme level. Even if they do like the products or services you have to offer, that doesn't mean they will buy it from you at the regular price. They'll research you and your competitors, when you and your competitors provide discounts, and how big the discounts are, if free shipping is provided, and a whole lot more. It's become a hobby. They're also deal takers, meaning that they will accept a deal offered, but they won't actively seek one out. They're more focused on the discounts. However, if you do show up in their email with a deal that is so convincing they can't seem to stop themselves, then they'll hop right onto it. Either way, discount customers can be tricky to approach. However, if you convince them to stay loyal to your business, then not only will they be a loyal customer, but they might also go tell their discount seeker friends about you. There is a whole coupon community and discount seekers community. Like, really. But before you get overly excited, you need to know how to sell to them and how to turn them into loyal customers. Give them the reason. Discount seekers want to know the reason they should buy from you, and this is exactly where you can display the once a year, nowhere else, 50% discount on the best selling products. Segment and target. You want to target discount seekers with the right deals at the right time, then they'll come flying in like bees to a hive. Show them the sale. You want to make sure that your sale page is impossible to miss. You don't want to make a discount seeker have to go hunting for the sale page on your website. Offer value added. To make sure that you catch a discount seeker's eye, you need to give them something so scrumptious that it's hard to resist. It can be great customer service, free shipping, or a discount on a product that is perhaps rarely on sale. 
you'll need to do a lot of work with discount seekers since they really do think before they buy. Now, moving on to the bottom of the funnel where we can find various types of customers. Let's start with the new ones. Do not, do not, like just don't leave a new customer hanging right after they click purchase. They've just bought your product or service. They're trying it out. They're learning about it. And for you, that means they have the potential to strengthen your customer base. So you've got to retain them for as long as possible and increase their customer lifetime value. In order to do that, you've got to make sure you provide an astonishing post-purchase customer service experience. If you're a retail business, make sure that you follow up with them, send them promos, and focus on omni-channel customer service. As for SaaS businesses like us, Live Chat, we provide onboardings for customers so that they know all the great things that they can do with our products. So how do you approach new customers? Well, the first thing you want to do is be there for them, anytime and anywhere. I know that's a lot, but what I mean is that you want to be there for them when they are in the process of learning about your product, how it works, and how to use it. By investing a little bit of your time into explaining things about your product to them, you might have just earned yourself a loyal customer. You can provide onboarding for them, provide relevant content on your website, and even provide video content where you explain more about your product. There's a lot you can do with video content. Humans are visual learners, therefore bringing out the visual side will definitely be a great advantage to your new customers when learning about your product. It's also very important to be reachable and findable. Let them know where they can contact you if they have any questions. By having Live Chat installed on your website, your new customers can come to you with questions at any time. And if you've got a whole customer service team working seven days a week, every hour of every day, then the customer will receive an instant response, which will only show how much you care about your customers. Now, you wanna make sure you also provide some social proof. What I mean by this is when your new customer is browsing your website and they see many astonishing reviews from your customer or from other companies that have worked with you, they feel at ease and they feel like they've made the right choice by choosing your business. Since let's be honest, if you see something like this, then you feel a lot more comfortable with the business. So. If you really do build that connection with your customers and maintain it as well, then you might just be looking at some glorious, magnificent, loyal customers. They are the type who keep coming back for more. Everyone wants them. Apart from bringing in a large amount of your revenue, they are also your brand advocates and you need to make sure they are treated with respect, care, and appreciation. Because if you do, then they will recommend your business or product to others for free, sending a stream of new customers your way. And who doesn't want that? Now, in order to turn more customers into loyal customers, you can first try to understand why your loyal customers are satisfied with your business. Ask them what they like most about your product or service. Take notes and try to improve the points that you are already excelling in. That way, you'll turn even more customers into loyal customers and make them your brand advocates. So how should you approach your already loyal customers? Well, first of all, you can give them the spotlight, like by featuring them in a case study. Not only will they feel appreciated when you want to include them in your case study, but you'll also have social proof from one of your loyal customers that will make your landing page more appealing. Learn from their success. You want to learn about how your products or services help them be successful. This way, you know what your strengths as a business are and use them when approaching new customers. Something for you, something for them. Not every loyal customer will be fully open to making referrals for you. Therefore, give them something in return for their referral. That way, there's also something in it for them. Currently, many businesses offer digital rewards for referrals by, let's say, giving out points per referral from which they can choose to exchange for an item or collect their points to exchange for a bigger item. In order to retain loyal customers, you need to focus on maintaining the relationship you have with them, as well as maintaining the quality of your products or services. Now you know the five types of customers when it comes to sales, how to approach them and how to nurture them. Of course, there are many more types of customers. If you've met them, then feel free to share your experience in the comments. See you next time.